welcome to all today in this video we are going to discuss about newton rings viva questions with a short answers the first question is what do you mean by interference of light bright and dark patches of light obtained in the region of superimposition of two wave trains of light is called interference and what are interference fringes the redistribution of light by superimposition of light waves is called interference is there any loss of energy in interference phenomena no it is not possible because the loss of energy is not exist in interference but it will redistribution of energy takes place the energy absent in dark place that energy which is absent in dark is actually present in the bright regions what is the physical significance of this phenomena the validity of the wave theory of light what are the essential condition for observing the interference in the laboratory the essential conditions are four the first one is the sources should be coherent and the sources must emit waves of same wavelength and same time period and the sources should be monochromatic and the amplitudes of the interfering waves should be equal or nearly equal what are the different classes of interference there is a two different classes one is division wave front another one is division amplitude let me come to the division of wave front the wave front is divided into two parts by reflection refraction or diffraction the division of wave amplitude the amplitude of incoming beam is div divided into two parts either by partial reflection or refraction what is the construction of sodium lamp it consists of u shaped glass tube with two electrodes of tungsten coated with barium oxide the tube is filled with neon gas at pressure of 10 mm of mercury and some sodium pieces this tube is enclosed in a vacuum jacket to avoid heat losses what are newton's rings alternate dark and bright rings formed due to the presence of air film when plano convex lens is placed on the glass plate is called newton rings how are newton rings are formed they are formed as a result of interference between light waves which are reflected from the upper and the lower surface of the air film developed between the convex surface of plano convex lens and plain glass plate why are they circle that means why the newton rings are in always circle this is because the air film formed is wedge shaped and loci of points equal thickness are circles concentric with point of contact what is the use of 45 degrees angle inclined glass plate this <coughs> inclined glass plate turns the light rays coming from extended source to 90 degrees and so the ray falls normally on the plano convex lens why do rings get closer as their order increase the diameter of dark rings is proportional to the square root of natural numbers while bright rings are proportional to the square root of odd natural numbers why is the center of the ring is always dark at the point of contact the path difference is zero but the reflected rays path difference is lambda by 2 because of this condition of minimum intensity is created hence uh, the center is dark spot what is the glass plate is replaced with plane mirror we will not get interference fringe if we replace the glass plate as plane mirror because the intensity of light reflected from mirror will be so great that it won't be visible and we will get uniform illusion or illumination what if sodium light is replaced with white light few color rings will be absorbed near the center because the white light contains so many colors what will happen if we replace the lens with plain glass then if we will replace the lens with plain glass then the interference will takes place but the shape of the rings will be in irregular what will happen if we drops of liquid is introduced between the lens and glass the diameter of the rings will decreases because the diameter of the ring is inversely proportional to the refractive index how are these rings formed generally when a plano convex lens surface is placed on the glass plate and thickness of air film will be 
formed and it is gradually increased and monochromatic light is allowed to fall normally on film and viewed in reflected light alternate dark and bright rings are observed due to interference these are known as newton rings why does the sodium lamp gives out red light in the beginning because the neon gas first of all discharge passes through the neon gas what is the construction of sodium lamp it consists of u shaped glass tube with two electrodes of tungsten coated with barium oxide this we already learned in 10 mm of mercury and some sodium pieces this tube is enclosed in a vacuum jacket to avoid heat losses why is the neon gas is filled in it all that means in sodium lamp initially the neon is playing a vital role to discharge passes through the sodium as it vapors pressure is low why are the rings are circle locus of constant thickness of air film about point of contact is circle so fringes are circle why do you use an extended source of light here to view the whole air film an extended source is very very necessary what may be the reason if the rings are not perfectly circle there is a three points if the rings are not in circular we need to uh, check the, these three things the first one the plate may not be optically flat the surface of the lens may not be part of perfect sphere on the plate and the lens may not be perfectly clean in newton ring rings at the center are quite broad but they get closer as we move outward why the radii of dark rings are proportional to square root of natural numbers bright rings are proportional to square root of odd natural numbers what are the factors which govern the radius of ring wavelength of light used refractive index of enclosed film radius of curvature of convex lens these are the three factors which is depends on the radius of ring what uh, your observation in transmitted light where we have bright fringe in the reflected light we shall have a dark fringe in the transmitted light and vice versa these two systems of fringes are complementary do you get rings in the transmitted light yes in this case the color of rings is complementary of the reflected light Sometimes the Newton rings are center says bright why this happens when a dust particles comes between the two surfaces at the point of contact what will happen if the glass plate is uh, silvered on its front surface if the glass plate uh, is a uh, front face is in silver then what will happens means the transmitted system of fringes will also be reflected and due to the superimposition of the reflected and transmitted so the uniform illusion illumination will result what will happen the sodium lamp is replaced by a white light source a few colored fringes were observed if by chance you get a bright central spot in your experiment will you proceed with the experiment with the same system of fringes or will you reject them the system will not be rejected in this case but we will proceed on with measurement because the formula employed for the evolution of ring involves the difference of the square of the diameter of two rings and the order of fringes at the center is immaterial can you utilize this procedure for determining the refractive index of a liquid yes will there be any change in ring if light is obliquely incident the diameter of the ring will increase what will happen if a few drops of transparent liquid are introduced between the lens and plate the fringes will contract with the diameter reduced by a factor of uh, values why do you make the light fall on the convex lens normally the light is allowed to fall normally so that the angle of incidence and uh, reflection may be zero so that cos theta may be taken as unity in this experiment rings are observed through the lens does it affect observation of diameter due to refraction through lens the observed diameters will be different from their actual values to avoid this thin lens should be used can newton's rings be formed with the combination of convex and concave lens the plain glass plate is replaced by concave lens that means convex lens is placed or over the convex concave lens how can you determine or this can be determined either by spheromotor by boys method what are the uses of newton rings 
to determine the wavelength of light to determine the liquid to measure the radius of spherical surface to measure expansion coefficient of crystal thank you thank you for watching this video